TDS just released Gatling Gunner with a unique ability that allows you to go in first person mode and control the tower. This is a tower defense game by the way. This tower might just be the strongest tower in the game right now due to its immunity from stuns, map wide range, crowd control, and good DPS. Here are Gatling Gunner's stats, at level 0. It deals 6 damage with a fire rate of 0.15 seconds. It has 25 range and an angle of 45. The range is for automatic targeting when you don't use Gatling in first person. The angle is its line of sight also for automatic targeting. It costs 5000 cash to place. On level 1, damage and range are upgraded. It now deals 8 damage and has 30 range. Costs 3000 to upgrade. Level 2, deals more damage and more ammo. It now deals 16 damage and has 100 ammo. Costs 8250 to upgrade. At level 3, all stats are upgraded. It now deals 18 damage with 0.12 fire rate and an ammo capacity of 200. It also has 35 range and an angle of 60. Costs 17,500 to upgrade. Level 4. More improvements on damage, fire rate, and range again. It still has the same ammo and angle as the previous level. It now deals 28 damage with a fire rate of 0.09 and a range of 45. Costs 35,000 to upgrade. Moving on to level 5, all stats except fire rate are upgraded. Dealing 55 damage with 400 ammo. It also has 50 range and an angle of 75. Along with the ammo upgrade its reload time is also heavily increased to 6 seconds. Costs 60,000 to upgrade. Finally, level 6, major improvements on damage and ammo. It now deals 100 damage with an ammo capacity of 600. It should take a while to use up all of its bullets. With a hefty price of 100,000 cash, better prepare a kidney for it. If you use the ability FPS mode you will be able to target any enemy you desire, ignore aggro modifier, and target hidden enemies where automatic targeting does not. In FPS mode Gatling Gunner will be able to pierce through enemies which makes it very good at tanky crowds like the Horde in Hidden Wave. The max hits Gatling Gunner can hit on FPS mode is 3 hits. Its damage will drop off at the third hit making it deal 50% of its original DPS. You can also use FPS mode to change where Gatling Gunner is looking at and exit to continue shooting passively. To obtain the Gatling Gunner, you must be at level 175 and have 35,000 coins, or pay up and buy it with Robux. If you don't want to talk to your parents like they're your stockholders and ask for Robux so you can skip the long grind and have fun using FPS mode on Gatling Gunner, then good luck with your sanity. As you can see with Gatling Gunner's stats it is clearly a mid to late game tower that's good for boss DPS and high HP crowd control. With the FPS ability it can help you target those annoying gestures on wave 19. Probably not a good idea if you can't kill them before they throw their presence at fallens. Or you can use them at wave 31 and wave 39 gestures where you can easily kill them. The ability is also very helpful in completing the last requirement to activating hidden wave which is killing fallen king under 60 seconds. Since you can just target Fallen King at its lowest HP while your rangers are targeting other enemies cause you set them to strongest. Because of the FPS mode, Gatling Gunner is very cost effective which makes all the money you invested on this one single tower worth it. This can easily get 1 million total damage in its counter. FPS mode is only very beneficial when you can spot a line where you can utilize piercing so when there's only one enemy left like awakened fallen king you can just leave it automatically when he's in range of gatling gunner's line of sight. This tower is very good and satisfying to use. I'd be down to save my cash to max gatling gunner but that's not really efficient. The main feature of this tower is its FPS mode ability which grants so several advantages compared to being lazy and not using it. But despite these advantages it's still situational where you don't need to always use it which is really nice since this is a tower defense game after all. This tower is very overpowered mainly cause of its piercing. It may be a level 175 tower with a hefty price tag but that doesn't mean it should be broken where it barely has any disadvantages. Gatling Gunner does have several disadvantages but they aren't really significant. If an obstacle is blocking your way, you can simply just set to automatic targeting, hiddens and lead, just hop into first person for a bit. 
simple counters to those advantages, merely just inconveniences that aren't even annoying which is good. Remember that Gatling Gunner has a lot of DPS which makes it a late game boss DPS tower so it shouldn't be very good at crowd control. So what do you think of the Gatling Gunner? Is it too overpowered or just right? And is it worth the 35k coin and 175 level requirement? Let me know in the comments below. Personally, I find it very overpowered on teams, that's just natural for a condensed DPS tower. I don't think this tower is worth it because you don't really need it to make the game easier. It shouldn't stop you in your grind for that first person shooting experience in a tower defense game. That's it. Thanks for watching.